Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and today we are doing an extended test review of the Circuit Patriot Cowboy Boot from Ariat. Let's get into it. Before I start, you should know that this video is sponsored by Ariat. It's in my contract not to let that sway at my opinion on this boot at all but it's still something you should know. Huge thanks to Ariat for supporting the channel. July 4th, the American Independence Day is just around the corner. And it has certainly been an interesting year for America so far, but no matter how you look at it, it is more important to celebrate this year more than ever. So today, we are taking a look at the Black Ariat Circuit Patriot Cowboy Boot. Ha. This boot is from Ariat's Mexican-made line. Now, the videos that I've done of Ariat in the past, their boots have been made mainly in China or Vietnam. I've done one quick impression video of a Mexican-made Ariat, and since then, I've wanted to spend more time with them. Finally, I'm getting the chance. So let's get into the rundown. This Ariat Circuit Patriot Cowboy boot is their black carbon color, and it's a little bit lighter than what it looks like online. It's sort of like a dark gray rather than a full black. This boot is full grain leather. We also have the American flag embroidered on the shaft in the front and the back on both boots. For a heel, we have a Stockman heel, which is probably around one and three eighths inch, and I believe it is a leather stacked heel, even though the outside is very distressed and makes it look like it might not be a leather stacked heel. When we look underneath the outsole here, we can see little lines, and those little lines gives me the hint that it's probably a leather stacked heel. This is a leather outsole that's been stamped to make it look like tire tread, which is sort of cool and I like it, but it won't last very long because this leather will wear away. If you're coming from wearing synthetic outsoles or rubber outsoles, a leather outsole is completely different. Leather outsoles will be much more slippy and they will get holes in them. Now there are boots that use higher quality leather soles that can last longer, but for the most part, if you're wearing a leather sole every day, you probably will have to get your soles replaced at least once a year. But this boot is made to have its soles replaced because it has a Goodyear welt. It is a double stitched Goodyear welt on a wide square toe. For a lining, we have leather all the way through. Definitely not the highest quality leather that you're going to see in a cowboy boot. In fact, I think it is probably pig hide because of these little holes here where the hair on a pig was. So that's kind of a distinguishing mark for pig hide and it doesn't make for the softest leather lining, but it's still leather lining. For an insole, we have there 4LR Technology. I tried this in the store really quick last year and I loved the feeling of it right off the bat. So I am looking forward to seeing how it holds up throughout the day and through everyday wear because it does feel great, but I'm just worried about the durability of this all foam insole. The bumps on this just make it feel like a cloud from what I remember, so I can't wait to try this boot on. And with that, let's see how they look and feel. All right, so I'm wearing the Circuit Patriots right now, and I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like it could be just a little bit wider. So if you've had trouble with some of those areas made in China, you might have better luck from their Mexican lines. The 4LR insole is really nice. I love this insole and it's probably the simplest insole from Ariat, but for me, it just works a lot better because I have a narrow foot. So my size is actually a 12B this size boot is a 10 and a half D. So on a lot of insoles, I just don't get that arch support. But because this is mainly foam, my foot is getting the support that it needs 
in the areas where it needs it most. The leather is kind of stiff, not as stiff as the Ariats that are made in China. It's a little bit better. Still, not the best feel right off the bat, but as with other Ariats, it will begin to feel better, I imagine, we'll see, as it breaks in. Overall, I think it looks good. I like the sort of uh, matte black look there. I believe they called it carbon. It looks cool. It's kind of like a distressed black. It's not too shiny. Square toe, similar to what we see. It is pretty wide. Very little taper there. Uh, not my favorite look, but we see this a lot from Ariat. And it looks pretty decent with these jeans as well. Let me know what you think. Let's go to the extended test. So I'm headed up to the city today. Boston proper, that is. Got a little bit of freelance work to do, and then after that, we are gonna check out some tourist attractions from the Revolutionary War. Ha! made it to Neurocentric Health and Fitness, and if you want to learn more about them, you can check out a video that I did above about can cowboy boots hurt. And since these areas are still new, I'm gonna need some help getting them off. So I have my Tri-Easy foldable boot jack here in my backpack that I brought along just for this purpose. So this boot jack is a collaboration between myself and my dad's company, Twisted Willow Fabrication. And all you have to do is just unfold it like this and then we'll just put it on the ground and take these boots off. Now I'm ready to work in the gym. If you want your own foldable boot jack, definitely check out the link in the description and help support small business and this channel. All right, freelance work is done. Let's go check out some historical landmarks. Stop number one is this incredible statue of George Washington, a great leader and our first president, of course. All right, so my second spot is the site of the Boston Massacre. Now at this site, five Americans were killed by British soldiers. They were protesting and like I said, five people were killed, 11 were injured, and it was part of a chain of events that led up to the Revolutionary War. And in fact, I didn't even know this was gonna happen, but I am here while another protest, a modern protest, is going on. It's quite poetic and the perfect place to definitely protest as an American. You gotta love a good, peaceful protest. Now, it's off to Paul Revere's house. All right, so behind me is the house of Paul Revere during the Revolutionary War. Awesome history in this city, and history is still being made, as we saw through my trek in the city and the area circuit. Patriots took me every step of the way. Now let's head back and I'll give you my final thoughts on this cowboy boot. All right, so let's wrap things up with my final thoughts about this circuit Patriot boot from Ariat. And let's start with the leather outsole. Now, if you remember, there was quite a bit of tread cut into this leather outsole. As you can see, it has pretty much worn away completely. And I would say it wore down like this after about a day or two of wear. So it doesn't take very long. And then once this tread is gone, it does become a slippy boot, just like other leather sole cowboy boots. The pattern engraved into this leather outsole, I mean, it's not rubber, so it's not going to be as durable of a tread and I feel like stones and dirt and things can get in there and wear this away a lot faster. So you may have to replace these leather soles 
sooner. So there's a give and take there. You get more traction out of the box, but I feel like you're gonna be resoling these a lot sooner. Now let's talk about the 4LR insole. This was by far my favorite part about this boot. And as you can see, it still looks brand new and I wore it every day this week. And it has this very interesting silky feel to it that's very similar to a hard leather insole when you're wearing socks, except it has much more cushion and these little bubbles here, they feel great. I'm still interested to see how this holds up since it is all foam pretty much. So be sure to catch my video at the end of the year where I rank all of the boots that I tried during the year and I'll give you an update on the 4LR insole and how it held up from several months of use. One of the things that bothers me about the Ariat boots that are made in Vietnam or China is that the break-in period takes forever and it's not an enjoyable process. Sometimes it takes upwards of five weeks or more to break in a cowboy boot. But this one is made in Mexico and after about two days, it was feeling broke in. Huge improvement over their Vietnam and Chinese made models. Now this next thing is gonna be super picky, so you can take it with a grain of salt if you'd like, but I wanna talk about the toe medallion just because I was thinking a lot about that. Now that's the stitching and the cording right here, and most cowboy boots have those. The reason why they do have them is to distribute the way that the boot bends so that it breaks in evenly and looks good as it breaks in. Usually they'll have it about an inch and a half to two inches lower than what Ariat has it on this boot. This is even higher than some Ariat boots that are made in China. This is way high in my opinion. I think this is too high. If they brought it down about an inch and a half to two inches or maybe even just an inch I feel like it would distribute the wrinkles a lot better because as you can see, this up here isn't really doing anything to help distribute the wrinkles. And as the boot bends, all you're getting is diagonal wrinkles here. And I feel like as this boot breaks in, it won't look as good as it could if the toe medallion would be lower. But that is super picky, okay? So I know some of you are gonna be like, why is that even an issue? I don't really care about that, but I know that some people do like how their boots break in, and I know some of you are gonna feel me on that too. I wanna see this toe medallion down about an inch to two inches more, just so that it breaks in a little bit better and distributes the wrinkles more evenly across the bend in the boot. So these Ariat Circuit Patriot boots are coming in at around $200, sometimes cheaper, depending on where you get them. And the question is, are they worth it? I gotta say that yes, they are. It's the most comfortable Ariat that I've tried and it's broken in the fastest, plus the 4LR insole, super comfortable for my foot. The only things that I have against this are that the leather outsole might wear down a little bit faster than other leather outsole boots because they did do that engraving in the bottom and I feel like it makes the leather wear down a lot faster because you have more surface area for stones and dirt to break it down quicker. And I also don't like how this boot is breaking in because of the placement of the toe medallion, but that is a super picky criticism. Overall, I think it is worth the $200. Let me know what you think of the Circuit Patriot boots from Ariat down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you can see every single video I put up the moment I put it up. Huge thanks to Ariat for sponsoring this video. It goes a long way to help me continuing bring content to you. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing Independence Day. Peace. The Circuit Patriot is my favorite Ariat yet. If you're thinking of going with Ariat, 
Mexican made is your best bet, in my opinion. Yes, indeed. My name is Jeremiah Craig. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Huge thanks to Ariad for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.